Julia. And I'm Haruki. <laughs> and we're making pasta today. We are. Do you know what kind of pasta? We are making a really, really simple pasta recipe and it's with cherry oh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, bolotti beans, bolotti beans, and rocket. And rocket. Yummy. Olives. olives. We need garlic, some olives. What's this herb? Parsley. Oh, cloves. Mm. Do you want to smell some? Mint. Basil. 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 Um, some parmesan cheese and we've got our pasta Ooh, cooking. I want to eat some. Yeah, have some. We've got our pasta cooking already on the stove. So it's from my cookbook and I don't know about you, but I've really loved cooking with you during lockdown. That's kind of kept me really happy. And another thing that I've loved doing is... Spending time with you. Yeah, spending time with you in the garden. I've really loved gardening. Do you want to tell everyone what we've been growing? What have we planted? Um, tomato and it has um, a lot of flowers on it. Yes, it's at the flowering stage. So I really loved growing some things that's been keeping me really I happy. Can you can try one. They're super sweet, these ones. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on this. Mm. We're going to put it on a low heat and we're going to pour some olive oil in. Can you pour the oil in for me? How much? Mm, about three tablespoons. Happy mom. Well, we just use our oh, eyes. Oh. I'll show you. How about we do one to start with? That's like oh. one. Two, three. So it needs quite a bit of oil because it doesn't have like a really tomatoey base. And we're going to pop the garlic in first. You don't really want it to be too hot. All of it? All of it. That's three whole cloves. Thank you. This is the smell of my childhood haruki. When I was growing up, Nana, so my mum, used to make a lot of things with garlic in there. So in Maltese cooking, we do use these ingredients a lot. So tomatoes and garlic. Beans, olives, basil. I cook with that a lot too, don't I? Yeah, and parmesan. Can you put the cherry tomatoes in? Sure, man. All of them. All of it. <laughs> Can you reach? Mm. So these just need to cook for about mm, three minutes. Just until we start getting a really nice sauce. Can you pick some basil leaves for me? This is a really good thing that kids can do, isn't it? Pick the leaves. <laughs> Yeah, you can tear them. Oh, this is looking so good. Just keep giving it a stir. And also, do you think you can tear the rocket? You can chop it up, but with kids it's a nice thing to do just to tear it. Oh, good tearing. Is this going to be the salad? Yeah, it's almost like a bit like a pasta salad. You know, that is one thing that I have, I have loved and I hope we keep doing. It's cooking together and eating together. All right, yeah. so this sauce is looking perfect. We're gonna add the beans in. So this is just a can of Borlotti beans, which I uh, drained yeah. and rinsed. You can just oh. do it lower so it doesn't splash. We'll help you. And the olives as well, we're gonna put the olives in. I don't like olives. <laughs> just a little bit. Perfect, yep. Don't touch because it's hot, okay? Yes, no. We've got the pasta which we've just cooked. I've just pulled yeah, it out. Honey. Yeah, maybe it's hot, honey. Okay, so I've just drained the pasta. This is going in. And I've also saved... Do you know what this is? What, was I, what do I always say from the cooking? Mm. It's the cooking water from the pasta, which is going to help us um, create a really nice sauce if we oh, need it. Let me just see if we need it first. What do you think? Yeah. All right, a little bit. Perfect, and it's nice and salty and starchy in water. Oh, this is looking so good. Yep, all of the green stuff can go in. Perfect. We're going to put the parmesan in a second. Yeah. Uh, in a second. One and this minute. is done. Yep, pop it in. Good. A little bit. Serve it up. And that is all there is to it. That was pretty easy. Yeah. What was that? So this is my cherry tomato, borlotti bean, and rocket pasta. And you can share your thoughts, um, stories, or videos at hashtag growgathershare, or head on to the Immigration Museum website to find out more. Mm. We're definitely gonna keep cooking together, aren't we?